Greetings and thank you for joining us today. In this video we will be covering the basic steps to create a note in the iOS version of Pocket Informant and how to assign that note to a specific sync service. Before we begin today we will be using an iPad Air 2 in the landscape orientation. We will be running Informant version 5.45. This device does have a home button. All other iOS devices will be similar in operation. This will be a basic overview for creating text notes only. We will not cover voice notes in this video. To begin, open Informant to the Notes view and tap the Add button. Tap the Title field to name your note, then tap into the Notes body. You can easily identify that you are in the body of the note as the formatting ribbon will be present above the keyboard. Now enter the text for your note. The formatting ribbon at the top of the keyboard can be swiped left and right to show more formatting functions. Most of these are self-explanatory and we urge you to experiment with them and see all of the various formatting options that can be used inside of your pocket informant note. Once you are done entering the text for your note, you can tap the All Notes button at the top to return to the main list of notes and save the note you've just created. This note is now saved to the Pocket Informant database. Next, we will cover how to assign your note to a specific sync service and how to assign some other elements to your note. Before we begin this step, it's important that we go over what sync services support the syncing of notes. The notes that you create in Pocket Informant can be synced to the following services provided that they are already set up and actively syncing in the Pocket Informant settings. Your notes can be synced to and from Informant Sync, Toodle Do, and Evernote. The Informant Sync service will sync all of the note elements while Toodle Do and Evernote will only sync the elements that they respectively support. Again, beginning from the Notes view, tap on a specific note to view it, then tap the italics I at the top right of the note. As you can see, this opens up a very important submenu. The first field is the Sync To field. Tap this to assign the note to a specific sync service of your choice or select None if you do not wish to sync the note. In this example, Informant Sync is selected. The next field is the Notebook field. This can also be interchanged with the term Folder. Tap this field to select the notebook or folder that you want the note to be assigned to. Next, we have the Tags field. The Tags field works in Notes just like it would for Tasks or Events. Tap the Tags field, select a tag, and it is now assigned to the note. Tags are helpful for sorting or for at-a-glance identification of a type of note. Below the Tags field is the Icon field. If you wish to identify your note with an icon, you can assign that here. The icons appear in the Notes list to help you easily identify a specific note or type of note. When you tap on the field, all the available icons will be, ava will be visible to choose from. Select the one you wish to use Finally, we have the pin to date. Using this field, you can pin the note to a specific date. Then if you have your focus view configured to show notes, you'll be able to view the note in that view. We hope that you found this video to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact support via our website, pocketinformant.com forward slash support or you can open a support case from inside of the application. Our support team will be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching and please have a productive day.